Hawks likes this very much. Welcome to Coffee with Hoppies, 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 Let's do this! And welcome back to Coffee with Toffees, guys. My name is Toffees, as always, bringing you the news that you need for your Dota life. And uh, it is Monday at on the 5th of January. A little bit late to get the show started today due to some issues uh, last night with my son this morning. But we're here. we got to give you the podcast. We want you to have all the news you need to know. But here's the story about it. Not much news going on this weekend. It's been fairly quiet as folks travel for some LAN tournaments. Um, I-League took a bit of a slowdown. And it's been fairly quiet during the period of transition after New Year's. We did see the Western Shuffle last week where we talked about that with the editor of Gozu Skib uh, as well as some others. And we are going to uh, talk about what little news there is today. So it'll be a fast show. So for those of you who are counting on the 30-minute gym experience, uh, it might be a little shorter than that. We'll start off the way we always do with my name, Toffees. You can find me at Toffees underscore Dota 2. Uh, go there. Purpose of upcoming matches, tournaments, casting that we do, the morning show, all of that fun stuff that, you know, is great. So go check that out. You can also check us out on uh, YouTube, SoundCloud. The SoundCloud is soundcloud.com slash toffees underscore Dota 2. And that has links to all of the different websites. So I definitely think you should check that one out. If you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash toffees and choose to give a little bit to keep the show running. It's a lot of work. We spend a lot of time. I spend a lot of time getting this thing uh, prepped for you every day. And, uh, you know, any support means the world to us. That said, you can also choose to support and get yourself one of these sweet new coffee mugs. The Coffee with Toffee's coffee mug has just been released. It is in my hand. So if you are listening to the podcast, check out the Twitch channel and uh, or the YouTube and look at the coffee mug because you're going to want it. You can order it through the Patreon or get it on the Twitch website with the direct link down below, whichever floats your proverbial boat. That said, let's... uh. Let's get into this thing. Make sure we're on the right channel. So first and foremost, the thing that you need to know are the things that are probably the most interesting to us as uh, we go forward with what is happening in the pro scene. When we talk about the pro news, which is always our first feature, we have to talk about the fact that Maneski has announced their changes. The latest shift in the Dota 2 team shuffle that we've seen going on. And uh, we are going to real quick just kind of run through the changes that have gone on regarding that team. All right, so what we see is a release by them. It came out, well, four hours ago, but that was actually yesterday when we wrote the show. So a little bit of news has been out for a bit, but the actual lineup is uh, going to be... Bimbo, Polo, Tarong, RR, and Owa. This is the official roster for Gigabyte Mineski. Now, the reason that this is impressive, I guess you should say, or noteworthy is, A, we've talking, we've been talking about the growth of the SEA scene and the value that it brings to the overall uh, market and kind of how much money is flushed into it. And we also talked a lot earlier this year about the scandal with the match fixing coming out of specifically Mineski in the SEA scene. So the fact that they were able to relaunch a team and are convinced and committed to doing it the right way that I think that we are going to find ourselves in a good spot. Johnny, who was once a major portion of this team's reboot, has chosen to leave. And um, I think that it's, it's, it's for the best. It's a fresh team. It's good faces. They should put up a good performance. But that's really all the news that we have in terms of pro news or team shifts in the last weekend. Other things you need to know is I-League. Three teams uh, remain at this point. It is actually, I'm sorry, four teams, if I remember. So LGT, LGDHGT will be competing for the overall final position where they will go up against the winner of MVP Phoenix and VG 
for the consolation final and the advance to the overall final. That was supposed to happen today. However, due to issues with the Dota network uh, and inability to log in, they decided to delay the game until tomorrow. So they will not have the games today. You can catch the iLeague games tomorrow morning, from what I understand, is the expected reschedule. So if you're listening to this on Tuesday, check it out. You can still catch the games. They were canceled today, so they should be on tomorrow. And that's the big iLeague news in terms of that. The tournament's wrapping up. We'll have a winner named soon. A tournament that has some big names in it, but due to pullouts and a lot of drops, it ended up having a team list that was not as exciting as it originally looked like it was going to be. That said, one of the teams that we really wanted to see perform well was Ninjas in Pajamas, the new inception for Lions. And uh, unfortunately, they lost to MVP Phoenix in the first round of the lower bracket as well as to LGD in the first round of the winner's bracket. So games were delayed, but I don't think it's hurt us too much on the Western scene. In fact, I was looking at some of the streams this morning as we waited for it to start, and they weren't very full. The Western fans have pretty much moved on to a new tournament, and in that, that is the D2L which is going on right now. It started this afternoon after crazy amounts of delays. They did finally get this thing underway. C-Deck versus VP Polar kicked the day off. Originally, it was supposed to be uh, EG versus LV to start the day, but PPD, Peter, got his plane stuck, I guess, in a snowstorm or something and was unable to make the flight to Vegas on time, so they flipped the games, and PPD arrived about 20 minutes before the first game started, so he did have some time to scrim out and get ready for the second game, which is starting right now. So EG and LV just finished their first draft, if you're watching live. If you're not, they are playing tonight. C-Deck and VP Polar did play earlier. VP po Polar, who was not really supposed to be in this tournament, came in as a replacement, beat C-Deck, a really up and a big Chinese team, uh, in order to take that position in the W winner's bracket final. Uh, so they will advance. It was a 2-1. to one. It was a hard-fought match. And I think a lot of us thought that C-Deck would actually roll through without too much trouble. And VP Polar showing, once again, why they are an exciting team to watch. EGLV should be a lot of fun. This is EG's official new lineup. This is the lineup they're going to take. Uh, hopefully, or presumably from here to TI, it is Fear, PPD, Universe, Samile, and Aoi2000. This is a team that says to me, hard work. Uh, they're all from this hemisphere. They have a lot of talent. And at the end of the day, they came together because, from what I understand, uh, or what I've been rumored to understand, these are folks who wanted to practice, they wanted to train, they wanted to aggressively try to get better. These are hardworking types, um, and hopefully they put their nose to the grindstone and make it happen. So this new personality should be interesting. Samile, the 15-year-old prodigy, is playing his first game tonight with EG. So we'll be uh, flipping over to watch that as soon as the show is over. I'm excited to see how exactly they do up against a massive test, which is the guys from LV. Final piece of news, and I told you there wasn't much, is that the Dota 2 Asian Championship prize pool has surpassed a million dollars. In fact, as of this afternoon, it passed $1,250,000. dollars 1, $1, the compendium goals have all been met, so if you want to buy the compendium, now it's actually it might be worth your money, as uh, all of the stretch goals are co covered at this point. So the stretch goals are all met, the compendium is maxed out, the Dota Asian Championship is now uh, the second biggest tournament prize pool-wise to TI. So they're calling this maybe like a TI.5, I guess you could say, or uh, I guess TI 4.5, let's say that. And uh, it should be good. The invites are ridiculous. The teams are going to be strong. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. They also have announced that BTS, I believe Gods will be the one traveling, are headed over to China to actually cover the DAC on site, from what I understand. And uh, that is exciting as well to have some good English casters, hopefully on site, if that's how it works out, uh, to cut down the amount of passes that we have to make through that great firewall of China. But guys, that said, literally, that's the entire show. That's all the news that's happened. It's been quiet. It's been slow. Uh, people have just been winding up for the D2L, and it all comes down to there's been some tech problems, but that's about it so far. Uh, the show has been a good one, and the games have been great. So go check them out. Make sure you check me out at Toffees underscore Dota 2 uh, over on the Twitter. Check out our Patreon.com slash Toffees, and don't forget, you can order your coffee mugs right now on Patreon and the Twitch channel, and uh, take it to work with you, take it to school, take it wherever you want, and let people know that you are a, uh, a lover of coffee with toffees, and those in the know will know just how cool you actually are. That said, guys, play more Dota, have a wonderful evening, and as always, I'll see you Wednesday. Toffees out.